All right, everybody, I'm back. Welcome to another video. This one is called She Rates Herself a 10 Delusion from Whatever Clips. Oh boy, here we go. Ask everyone to rate themselves on the scale of one to 10. So let's do that. <sighs> what on earth is that in the pink? Is that a plant? Is that a man? What is going on here? This has to be a literal troll from friggin' Warcraft, honestly. You know, I've been watching a lot of Warcraft stuff where people like speedrun Warcraft 2. That thing looks like a troll from that game. It has to be. This has. This can't be real. <coughs> um, Kiko, so, okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Ten. Ah, uh, <laughs> you've lost your mind. Um, six. A fat fucking ten. A zero. A fat ten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying what everybody in the comments is gonna say. And be like, oh yeah, she's a fat fucking ten. All right, do you notice something? She's she's so big that she can't even get like the SM7B close to her mouth like I do, where I'm really close to it because that's how you're supposed to talk into this microphone. Because when you're like this far away, it like cuts out entirely. Unless you know, it's like the, that's the entire point of the mic is to talk close to it. Yeah. What is with this? Do I see like a a love doll behind this chick right here? Is that what that is? What is wrong with it? What do you women watch? <laughs> <laughs> is there a comma somewhere in in that statement? Honestly, I'm not. Talk into the mic. Act like you're trying to eat it. I know you know what that means. I'm gonna get taken down for bullying. But God, talking to the mic. I hate when people don't talking to their mic correctly it just drives me crazy as a like a sound nut because then i have to try to fix it and i can't and then people are like johnny the video sounds bad it isn't my fault <laughs> there you go closer <laughs> what was said was said be close the way he's close to the microphone you know okay <laughs> yeah. i said what i said and i meant what i said okay period yeah. um, on I'll a scale of one to eight. ten ten no, you're not a ten. None of you are tens, really. If we let's go, you know what people love when I rate them for some reason. They even say I should make a shirt with it. Let's go left to right. Eight, eight. Okay, because I know that they all think they're tens. Let's go back. Seven, 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 zero, six. That that's what I think of all these. Answer were you the same? They're above average, but they're not like oh my god, I would just drop everything and simp for this girl. <laughs> you know. Like a lot of people do and get, you know, absolutely crazy, but yeah, they're pretty, but at the same time, vanity does bring it down a good amount. If we want to be objective, if we add vanity to it, we're going to have to go with, uh, pretty much all fours and a zero. Were you a 10 last time? Yeah, I was a 10 okay. last time. You were not a 10, especially with that makeup. You just, all y'all put on like this face, right? Like, you know, I just, this always bugged me about women and I ain't trying to be sexist or whatever, but I'm serious. It's like. Y'all put on like like pounds and pounds of makeup. Some of y'all do, not all, but some of y'all do. These girls definitely do, except for apparently the one that people are now calling Gorlock. Uh, y'all wear all this makeup, and then you're like, "That's what I really look like. That's me. This thing I drew on my face is what I truly look like. That's me. I'm beautiful." And I'm just like, you could draw anything on your face. You know what I mean? It's like. Just because Gene Simmons paints like demon makeup on doesn't mean he's an actual demon that spits blood and fire and stuff, you know? It's a mask. I mean, yeah, you're a great makeup artist. You're a great illusionist. You're basically a magician. Some of you who literally can go from like a zero meth head to like an eight with makeup and fake teeth and fake eyelashes and, you know, fake hair and, you know the body powder and whatever y'all put on and the freaking filters and using face app and all that is a face app, whatever it is where it can like change your face entirely, you know, with, with like, you know, all, or Instagram filters and all of this stuff. I mean, I, they like this place to be kind of like that, but seriously, I mean, they're pretty, I'll give them that, but vanity just ruins it for me. Like entirely Billy Ray. Um, we should have waited till Deborah was back, but we'll come back to her. I feel like I'm a 6.7. Thank you. There you go. She's the best one in the room. She's more than a six to me, but the fact that she didn't immediately say I'm a 10, a 6.7, you're a 10 to me just because of that. Any woman that says I'm a 10, you're a two at that point. If you really think you're a 10, you're a two. 
Dude, why the <gasps> would you ever say something like that? Physically or overall? <sighs> oh, I'm factoring everything in. Really? Yes. With everything factored in? Um, uh, you know, if on. I were to rate it, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. $200. Thank you, Martin. Debra, no long-term commitment, but we can make an agreement. <sighs> She's in the back. You'll sign a NDA, grow your hair out a bit, convert away from Judaism. <laughs> I'll coach you to speak a little less. She's She's not even and here. Imagine her hearing private. this in the bathroom. And you and my girlfriend can compete for my affections. <laughs> uh, m yo, Marquavius, I'll I'll trigger it again once she's back. Um, so don't worry about that. Thank you, though. Go ahead, Deborah. Or sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Deborah. Uh, go ahead, girl. That doesn't. Her name does not matter at all, and I already forgot because you're all basically just meat for the audience to make fun of. Um. What do you feel like you could improve on? Toasty, I know to you ain't you from talking. Six point seven to like an eight or a nine. I you know, I'll tell you what, I keep looking at Gorlock and she apparently thinks that she's like a 10, right? And all of a sudden, I just keep thinking in my voice, like, you know how you have like the yo hello guy? Yo hello guy be like, yo, she a nine. <laughs> all these rest of these girls, they two. That big old girl right there, yeah. With, with the purple in the hair, that's a nine, baby. I feel like my fitness is lacking. Okay. Um, okay, one point. Fitness is lacking? No, my appearance, I'm not a 10. Fitness is lacking. Wise. I disagree with into the, the ratings mic. people. Into have, the mic. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I disagree with the ratings people have given. Do you know thoughts. where the rating scale comes from? It's supposed to be if you line up 10 random men and you ask mm -hmm. them, would you her? And what? they were to say yes or no. no. That's originally where. No, actually, that's not where. I don't know where it came from, but what I use it for is how attractive is she? And the easiest way to explain how good something is is by, you know, numbering systems. You know, how good was that steak you had? 10 out of 10. You know, how beautiful was that lady that you met? 10 out of 10, that, that kind of thing. It's a, it's not really, I mean, you could literally get a crackhead and line up 10 dudes from the ghetto and they'll pretty much all say they'll bang her, you know? That's not how, nope, that's what? not how that works. From? Tell you, well, where now, I'm being, the I'm, 10 rating scale? How, educate me where it came from. That's you know, not how if that you works. know, tell me, tell just me. Think, well, just think about, tell it, me. think about it intuitively. If a 10 is like a perfect woman, like absolutely maxed out attraction. 10 is supposed to be on physical, it's supposed to be on physical att attraction. So if we're talking. That, this is coming from a woman that is just not a ten, though. Even appearance-wise, she's like a she's like a five, if that. You know, if we're talking, to, I I go by total package. You know, I mean, we're not supposed we're to talk about personality. Attraction. Yeah, yes. we're, talking, we're not supposed to talk about personality. I mean, I guess because you don't have one, so we shouldn't talk about it at all. Okay. Just physical attraction. Ten is like the most attractive woman you could possibly imagine. Yes, it's ten like out of ten anything. for a reason. Because you're lining up ten and you're counting how many points are you getting. Uh, no, That's, I don't know where you got that from. That's why. What, it's, what do you mean you're lining up ten? Where like does lining up ten you're women come into this? No, I'm saying ten men, like or opposite gender of you. I mean, opposite gender of you. You're supposed to be. It's, well, I'm, I guarantee you that if you lined up ten different men, not all of them would want you. Because by that implication, you're saying looks wise, 10 out of 10 men would, would, you know, take you to bed. I wouldn't. So you're a nine right there. And I think a lot of the audiences are also hidden. No. So maybe you're a four, the four incel guys that, you know, will literally bang anything, including a corpse. Probably that's disgusting, but I'm, I just wouldn't put it past some of these people, but yeah. The point is. You tracking with this, Deborah? You guys. Where Where did it come from? Then tell me. Tell me where it came from. It's, it's just. It's like like okay. What are you like? If you're a five, then you're like very like average. Yes. If you're like an eight. Because five out like, of ten people would would be with you. No. That, no, that's not how it works. It's just you're you're wrong. Can we continue and hear from someone else who's less insufferable, please? Block I'm rating myself on that scale. Me and compared to every yeah. woman in the world yeah i feel like yeah. it'd be the yeah. same if you said you're a perfect 10 that people are always gonna hate so i think as well just go okay, with what delusional so, really believe kiko going back you know? to this whole if you lined up 10 people and if they all wanted to sleep with you that makes you a 10. okay so they all found you attractive i was just trying to i was just going yeah but that's a binary yes or no are yeah. they attractive however yes. there's degrees to attractiveness exactly that's why it's supposed to be like 10 random people like maybe from all over the world like not just 10 people from san that's, francisco or that, look, look at look at gore like getting all sassy like yeah that's, 10 people from la that's I've the way i've never to, heard this yeah i've never heard that look either it up. that's not look it up. okay well that's <laughs> not what we doing? mean <laughs> Google, where you look up anything else being if you use that still y'all okay no, it's like the thing is when you think about women like this one it's like they're so insufferable now because they think they're hot. What's going to happen when they're 40 or 50? 
when the looks are gone and all that's left is like the the catty nature you know the uh the female dog nature of her personality that's all you get old hag old bag you know just you know i'm eh, I'm a chin yeah you know <laughs> that's what i'm on time here eh, i'm a chin yeah just a bunch of gaggling and chicken noises <laughs> It's like this. It's, it's like this. Degrees. It's the hottest possible Victoria's Secret model. Just it's, physical. Hold on. Just physical perfection is a ten. How might you compare yourself to her? Do you think ten? You, do you, you, no, you've lost your mind. You have lost your mind, lady. If you want me to itemize you, which we know we hate when when it happens on catfish, and she's that vain, I don't feel bad about it. Your hairline is all tore up. You ain't got no titties. You ain't got no butt. But I don't know anything waist down from you. You got this you know tattoo on you which i don't even it looks kind of trashy to be honest you're wearing the andre the giant singlet thing to a freaking interview trying to look cute i mean honestly gorlock is a slightly better freaking dressed than you are and you're walking around thinking you're jennifer lopez when you just got this screwed up hairline right here where you just got like the little the soul patch on the forehead that you kept because if you got rid of that you basically have like a widow's peak you'd have a bigger you know, a hairline problem than Boogie's girlfriend does right now, who just needs to shave it off and wear a freaking wig, to be honest. Honestly, most of this is probably extensions anyway, based on just a look. But yeah, if you want me to be petty, you want me to be catty, you want me to be, you know, somebody that's a, you know, a judgmental douche like you're acting, there you go, darling. You're a two. You think you're like the most attractive specimen that's ever walked this earth? I wouldn't say there's. Oh, there's not, is there not people On who are par with the most attractive? Can I answer? That have ever walked this earth? Can I answer? We give you permission. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I mean, he's like keeps shooting things. I mean, hasn't really let me respond. Just Sorry. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Yes, but is that saying that there's only one ten in the world? There's not no, only no, one no, ten. There's no. multiple tens in the world. That's not I just don't care about this argument. Can we get to the goblin next to you? To actually, get her to say something. That's the whole point of this video. Sorry, can't say that word on YouTube. Uh, but that's not I what don't I'm think, saying. Oh, I mean, overall, you don't mean tell what you are. She's just going to hog up all the space. Get someone else to talk. I don't want to hear her. All right. It's just looks. I, I feel like I'd have a different answer if we what? were just saying just that, looks. That's, that was the question. You know, I'm the opposite. Well, I don't have a different when, answer when, if it was overall. When they asked, like, You'd rate yourself out of 10, was I wasn't overall. thinking, like, just looks, just, like, yourself, like, as a person. Yeah, no, oh, you're just your physical appearance. Do you want me to re-answer? Yeah. I would say like a seven. Oh, fair. I, I give her an eight, honestly. I, I'm not trying to be nitpicky. I was mainly trashing the other chick because she was so obnoxious thinking that she's like God's gift to, you know, men or whatever. She's an eight, to be honest. And the girl next to her, she's also an eight. You know, they're both lovely women by the look of them. Like the vanity went out the window a little bit. The chick on the very end just like, oh my God, just... It's like like listening to a freaking weed eater in your ear, and every time she's talking, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a ten. Tell me I'm a ten. Tell me I'm pretty. Uh, uh, uh. God, shut up. Oh, okay, all right. What about for you? Still ten? Not just a ten. A fat. F hey, she's 10. a baddie all around. <laughs> Baddies are. It's a full time job. Certified. I mean, Stop playing with your extensions. Certified. I still think <laughs> I'm a certified baddie ten whatever. But like, I'm also not gonna come for anybody who has a preference. Like, it is what it is. Like, in my, in some people's eyes, I'm probably like a one. In some people's eyes, I'm a fat fucking ten. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm still a. Is there a 10. comma? I'm, in I that know. sentence, okay. Just, I feel like um, no one would date someone they didn't think was a, or at least marry someone yeah. that they didn't think was a ten because. Like, no, I don't believe that either. Uh, honestly, it's like. Once you get into the dating range, this is a guy thing. I'm obviously not a chick. I mean, you know, I'd be the most manly sounding chick ever. You know, my pronouns are she, her. <laughs> um, no, when it comes to dating, I really, at least in my opinion, I don't know about other. If you have a dude that's like, this girl's great. She ticks all my boxes. We get along. It's easy to be with her. It's effortless. You know, she's wonderful. You know, I love her. She, we've been together for three years, but she's not a 10. So I'm not going to marry her. That dude's just a piece of crap at that point. He's a horrible human being. She's not always going to be a 10 uh, to everyone else. That is, you know, cause like I said, 10 is total package, right? You know, beautiful, smart, funny, you know, able to 
you know, easily conversate with somebody that doesn't cause a bunch of drama and trouble and headache and doesn't have a bunch of baggage, all that sort of stuff all goes into like the pile of, is she a 10 or not? You know, even though the rating system I use is more of a joke and more of a comedic, uh, satirical commentary on this whole vain nature of, uh, these female shows, by the way, I, I don't seriously, I'm not going to start being like Onision having chicks in my discord basically being like hey johnny rape me am i a 10 no i'm not doing that because it's a comedic bit it's not objective like onision would do because i'm not a creep like him and i just think that's nonsense looks really is only about the eye catching right you see the girl she's pretty this is this is how i operate i see somebody they're pretty i talk to them and after I start talking to them and really getting to know them, I don't care what they look like anymore. I just don't. Yeah, they were pretty. They were pretty enough to catch my eye. But once I got to know them, I stopped caring about the looks. I stopped worrying about any of that stuff because in the back of my mind, I know she's at least, you know, she's pretty. You know, she's attractive physically. But I just don't think about it anymore after that. It just escapes me, you know. Now, if the girl went from... Being just a normal looking woman, I know that some women think that, oh, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny. I don't think anything about that. Honestly, I don't, I just don't care. Honestly, you could give me like a supermodel, but if she's catty like this chick on the right, I just can't, you know. But I also wouldn't want to get with Gorlock, you know, the goblin next to her, you know, whatever you want to call her. And uh, I mean, there's limits, you know, and it's not like I think that, okay, I'm dating somebody that gained 20 pounds. They got a little bit of pudge. Oh, I don't love her anymore. It's not like that. Never was, never would be, you know, but if we get to like where she w went from, I don't know. I don't know women. I don't even think about women's weights or waistlines or, or chest size or any of that. I never even ask or even think about any of that, but let's just say that I'm okay. Let's just do this simply blonde chick right there on the screen. They start looking like her. They don't have to look like her, but I'm just saying they, they look like that. Right. And all of a sudden she g gains 300 pounds and she looks like, like freaking Gorlock like, over I mean, here. Like looks like that. Okay. Let's just do it this way. The chick on the end on the far left, she starts looking like that and she's attractive. If she gains a little bit of weight, you know, things aren't exactly as perky as it used to be, you know, 20 years into the relationship. It's fine. I get it. It's, it's not going to bother me because I love her. For her, as a person, I love her. She's, you know, been around that long. I'm not even thinking about the physical attractiveness thing. I'm not thinking about, you know, is she still as hot as she was 20 years ago? But if she turns into this thing right here that keeps calling itself a 10, then I would be, okay, we might need to address this. You know, I need to be able to recognize my partner. I need to recognize that, you know, 20 years has happened, but they're still the same human being that I, you know, got with 20 years ago. There's a difference, but I just feel like these, these women are just not even all of them. I, honestly, I started off wanting to hate all of them, but chick on the end. I really like her chick next to her. I haven't heard enough of her, but she sounds okay. Don't the corner chick hasn't said anything at all. Besides, you know, they all thought they were tens except for the dude, the chick on the left, but that's fine. I mean, if you think you're a 10 total package, fine, whatever, you know, you, maybe you are smart. Maybe you got an engineering degree and make a hundred grand a year. Who knows what your standards are. Really? The chick on the right is absolutely just nails on a chalkboard. I mean, I'd rather bang Gorlock at this point than bang her. She's gotten on my nerves that bad. God help me. I've, I've God help me. Is there a I'm, comma I'm, in that I'm, sentence? Okay. Just, I feel like um, no one would date someone they didn't think was a, or at least marry someone yeah. that they didn't think was a 10 because like, why would you want to be with someone that you're like, I could find hotter. But don't you, because I don't think about it that way. I should have let it play a little bit longer. If you think about somebody who is like, I can do better than this person. I can get with someone hotter, someone richer, someone, you know, more. That person is just, just garbage. They're trash. They could be the hottest woman on the planet that every dude w just, just immediately started watering at the mouth of like the Wagyu steak of womanhood. But as soon as you hear that, they're, they're a zero. No, because you can't rely on someone like that. You can't depend on someone like that. Just because you have a good paint job does not mean the equipment is better. I tell you from experience, people, men out there that keep putting ladies like this on a pedestal. It feels the same.
they don't have some type of surgery or just because her face is pretty that makes her you know hoo ha as some ladies like to call it doesn't make it tighter or nicer or wetter or better feeling to you they all have standard equipment you can't buy a pussy upgrade package you can't like put a freaking body kit on it like a honda civic the paint job is nice but i mean if she's a dumpster fire down there it's just not going to do you any good it's like putting it's like putting a body kit on a pinto a ford pinto you know the things where you hit it in the ass and it blows up oh my god i'm leaving that in because you know what that joke actually needs the a word in there and i hope this is still monetized but that was a great one right there actually i might have to cut it out anyway it was the a word a s s i'm probably going to have to cut it out just because of youtube monetization but still you know, someone did take like an Oldsmobile or something like a Volvo or whatever it was, some old ugly granny car and turn it into the Batmobile, right? Like somebody did that and tried to sell it on Pawn Stars. It was still a, it was still a Volvo under there. It was still an ugly granny car that was like all angular and had like sharp corners and stuff. Paint job on the outside don't mean nothing. It's pretty, but the inside is what matters. I know that I have probably all the women in the audience probably just cackling at this point, <laughs> hearing me make the tell this. This is probably one of my funnier episodes, I think. I, I'm actually just, I, I imagine this, I hope this doesn't get me banned, but good Lord, lady, come on. I think it is delusional to consider yourself a 10. For those of you who rated yourselves a 10. No. No. Whether in appearance or total package. I, no. I don't think it's like I thinking think it's that you're the perfect delusional. person, but yeah. just being like confident. Dude, yeah. any like, any person who says, I am a 10 is basically saying, I have zero room for improvement. I'm perfect. That's the not way what that I, I said. I said, no. 10 that's is what no. I hear though. Okay, but that's, that's what I why hear. I love and I think it's delusional. For improvement. But this is what he just, when, we, he when she said finally. that, I clarified if we would ask about our overall personality person as we are as a whole, I wouldn't give myself as a 10. But as a you should give yourself a two regardless because your personality, you got, the, you got the personality of a wet fart, literally. Well, wet fart's funny. So no, you're like a. <sighs> You have the personality of just like one of the silent but deadlies, you know, there's no funny. There's no comedy. It just stinks. You know, <laughs> that's one way to put it. Traction level. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm peak athleticism. I'm pretty symmetric face. I would give myself a 10 right now. I'm not I'm just I just hate you so much. OK, I'm here for I'm here for the troll. But at the same time, I'm starting to think the chick on the end is a lot worse. I think that's half that just people are very I'm just skipping ahead because I can't listen to all this without driving myself crazy these days because they don't take care of themselves but also I definitely am somebody that like the more I am attracted to somebody's personality the hotter they look to me and someone who if I just looked at them and I was like oh there are seven if I started talking to them and found out that they were like a really great man of God strong personality very masculine I'd be like wow in my eyes he's a 10 and I feel like everyone should feel that way about their partner they may have the objective looks but when you get to know them once you get a partner you shouldn't be rating them on anything at that point i mean it's just the rating system is a meme it's a joke it, it's a way to be like oh she's a 10 it should not be thought of as an analytical tool for who you should be in a long-term relationship with it, it should just be a descriptor you know it, it's 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 a joke it's a meme and, and these ladies taking it that seriously like you know this is how this is the measure that we use to objectively figure out who we should date long term or get married to just shows an incredible amount of vanity that is just unnecessary entirely in the dating sphere it's just not if you think you're a 10 you're probably a two but if you think you're a two you might be a 10. vanity ruins women for me just just instantly as soon as a woman knows she's hot and is just you know posting like flirty photos and flirty videos and all she's so hot and all my oh i got all these simps and all these dudes love me and they're just you know it, it's just all this vanity and just you know constant thirsting for attention constantly fishing for compliments as all of these probably do well we know what the chick on the end does with the butterflies on her neck because that's totally not trashy at all um <laughs> yeah i'm done with this video i, I just i can't I was going to try to make fun of the troll, but honestly, everybody else, the other girl next to her is so bad that the troll, she's fine. She, she's probably just somebody they brought on as a clown, you know, probably not a serious thing. All right. Thank you so much. See you next time. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Check out the full playlist of catfish commentaries, which is basically this, but slightly less harsh, but it can be harsh. You thought this was funny? 
subscribe consider becoming a member to get access to the live stream archives or patreon where you can